Sierra Furtado gets blasted by X big time. Everybody who's been a regular on YouTube knows who Sierra Furtado is. She started on YouTube in 2012, and ever since then, she has continued to make videos that have made people love her even more. She's gained a large following, particularly among teens, for her unique approach to makeup and her humorous personality. She literally grew up before the eyes of her followers and viewers. Her content usually covered lifestyle and beauty, which a lot of girls her age were interested in. As she approached adulthood, she managed to do everything from updating her channel to traveling. During the pandemic, when travel was restricted, fans could see Sierra traveling in and out of the country frequently without thinking about getting infected or spreading the virus to others. Many fans were calling her out, criticizing her, and calling her spoiled and entitled. Most of these fans turned to Twitter and TikTok to express their hate and disappointment at Sierra for being irresponsible and careless at the height of the pandemic. They were fans who started to see the effects of fame and fortune on Sierra. They missed the old Sierra, where she was just doing DIY makeup videos. But recently, her life has been pretty messy and intense. She got on the nerves of many people, including her former fiancé, Alex Terranova. Sierra was in a relationship with Alex Terranova and got engaged in 2017. They made many videos together, and fans were just so happy for them that they finally took their relationship to the next level. However, in June 2019, they announced on each of their social media accounts that they had broken up. Sierra shared on YouTube the news of her split with Alex. I never thought I'd be sitting here saying to the world that me and Alex aren't together. This is a thing that we know needs to happen, that we need to release into the world so that we can fully focus on ourselves because that is the most important thing right now. It just wasn't working for some reason and I couldn't understand why when we were together. I was so frustrated. When you aren't whole as people, you cannot come together as two halves to make each other whole. You have to be two whole people that come together and that is how it's gonna work. You can never not be your whole person if you aren't at that level of maturity almost, of like knowing who you are in your soul, like emotional maturity, then you can never be in a relationship that's gonna be something that's gonna last forever until you realize that. That is never gonna happen. That just doesn't work because then you're just relying on someone else to fulfill you. I already feel happy. I already am so happy for this blessing. Even though a breakup doesn't sound like a blessing, this was a blessing. And ultimately, I know that God did this for a reason. And it was to show me happiness, like to show me that that is actually a thing and that what it was before and what I was dealing with before was not true happiness. I'm so excited to be happy and I'm so excited to be able to give love to people and not just in relationships to everyone around me. I'm just happy because I'm, I'm so in love with myself now and I really could care less what anyone thinks of me. Alex also confirmed their breakup saying, I knew I had to do what was best for both of us, so I left and went back to Colorado to be with my family and friends. Just like in any relationship, there are good times and bad times. There was just something that wasn't working between me and Sierra. There was something holding us back from being a functioning couple where we could read each other's minds, where we understand each other, where we have a lot of patience with each other. I think what defines a real couple is when you hit the rough times and you're going through deep waters and you're not really sure how you're going to make it out. I think that's what defines a couple and that's where I and Sierra really struggled. I think our lives being involved with social media and our relationship being involved with social media, that was the biggest reason why we were having these problems. They had a YouTube channel as a couple, and when they broke up, Sierra kept the channel but changed the name. Naturally, their fans were devastated and shocked by this news. Everybody thought that they would be together forever because they seemed to be so in love in all their videos and photos. In each of their videos, they never mentioned the real reasons for calling off their engagement. Though Alex mentioned that it was probably because of social media, fans knew that there was more to the story. They wanted their fans to believe that their relationship just didn't work out. It's understandable and acceptable, and even though their fans were sad, they moved on. Sierra is now engaged to Sam Winkler. 
Her and Alex's chapter was obviously over. Sierra kept her relationship with Sam as private as possible. Yes, she shared details about their relationship, but it was not as publicized as her relationship with Alex. Fast forward to 2023 and finally, the reasons for their split were revealed. Even after a few years, fans still wanted to find out why. In Sierra's Q&A blog, she answered some questions from her fans. One person asked her about prenups, and this topic was what set the fire. Although Sierra did not mention Alex's name, her words had negative implications for him when she discussed the prenuptial agreement. She revealed that she had one drawn up by a lawyer for thousands and thousands of dollars. This is a juicy one. So this person said, what are your thoughts on signing a prenup if ever you decided to get married? I just feel like they're a necessary thing and I feel like people take the subject too like sensitively. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. This might have controversy, but I just feel like if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, or you've started something yourself from the ground up and it's successful, you need to protect yourself and okay. She explained her belief in the importance of prenups and added that it was suspicious if someone did not want to sign one, saying, I don't realize like the prenup is for both sides. So what if in 10 years you do something in your career that makes you millions and millions of dollars, then you're protected as well. So, and I feel like that's, I just feel like it can be kind of a red flag if someone doesn't want to sign one. I feel like it is a little shady if someone doesn't want to sign it. Cause like, what are your intentions then? Like you, I don't know. She also said that signing a prenup could not hurt either party as it acted as a form of protection. She used the example of a situation where a partner refused to sign a prenup and then tried to take all of the other person's money during a divorce. She clarified that the prenup is not a preemptive measure for a divorce, saying, If I'm getting married, obviously I'm doing, I want to do it one time. You know, that's why I think certain engagements have been called off in the past because I don't want to fail at my marriage. Like I want it to be very healthy and last forever. I've had someone not want to sign my prenup that I spent thousands of dollars for and it's a little shady. So definitely, definitely a red flag for some people. I don't know. Alex Terranova quickly responded to his ex fiance's comments, criticizing her for implying that he had ulterior motives during their relationship and suggesting that he was only interested in her money. Many of Sierra's regular viewers also noted that this was not the first time she had made negative comments about Alex in her videos. Alex posted a lengthy note on his Instagram stories and Twitter account that detailed the reasons behind the end of their three-year relationship. In regards to the prenup accusation, he wrote, didn't sign the prenup because I would be selling my life away to a B. Forgot to mention, it defiled the meaning of marriage and was planned before we got engaged, more like four months into our relationship. Money had nothing to do with it other than her money being hers, which I never cared for. He also revealed that he was never acknowledged or compensated for his work in shooting and editing their joint vlog channel videos. He expressed frustration that he never had anything that was truly mine and hers either. When I was presented with a prenup, her lawyer's big leaked mine, but I never wanted anything other than for my future to be secure just as much as hers, which the prenup never gave me ownership rights to a channel with videos of me and my name on it. Alex also said that he was the one who broke off the engagement because Sierra was being selfish, especially during the time he suffered an asthma attack. He was forced to be quiet all throughout their relationship to protect her image. He was painted as the bad guy when they broke up, but he never asked for a dime for a buyout in the channel and never begged for rightful severance. He revealed that he had been struggling with PTSD and anxiety because of the things that had happened in his relationship with Sierra. I still have PTSD from other things in that relationship didn't handle it privately at first. However, I've chosen to be private when I could expose my ex for many other terrible things. I blocked my ex on IG two years ago, hoping it would make both of us stop talking about each other. I needed to move on and do me. I need to find myself being so lost and depressed and find purpose within myself. I've struggled with loneliness in the past and finding my way in life from 25 to even some points now in 28. I've had anxiety where I couldn't leave the house because I feared how strangers I didn't know or how the public viewed me in case they knew. After being silent and controlled for so long, I believed in the wrong painting of me too. 
It destroyed me when all those things about me were never true. But then again, she might not want y'all to know a month after the breakup. Her discovering life quotes and good girl act came to an end when she met a douchebag from Cabo and effed him while texting and leading me on for a month with BS. I love you, Tex. I also had to find out on my birthday, ruining a third birthday for me. But she doesn't want you to know that, or how when she was on private jets at first, she was still wearing the Valentine's necklace I gave her. Intimidating girls I tried dating by viewing their stories or even showing up uninvited to a New Year's Eve party you were told not to go to. Many people are commenting on Sierra's video, suggesting that she should compensate Alex for his contributions to their joint vlog channel. They argue that Alex did a lot of work behind the scenes, such as editing and filming, but did not get paid for it. They also point out that Sierra made it seem like Alex was just there and that she was the one making all the money and taking care of him. This has left Alex upset and feeling the need to defend himself against the implication that he was a bad boyfriend who would steal money from his successful girlfriend. Alex claimed that there were other negative aspects of the end of their engagement that he had been silenced and manipulated about in order to protect Sierra's public image. He exposed some of Alex's destructive behavior both during their relationship and after their breakup in his post. Many really believe that their relationship was a match made in heaven, but it turned out to be too good to be true. Fans were divided on who to side with when it came to signing a prenup. It looked like their relationship was toxic for both of them. There were a lot of issues that they may not be able to discuss and resolve before breaking up, and now they're still haunted by them. What do you think of Sierra and Alex's relationship? Was it purely based on fame, or did they really love each other? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.